And then we have some karate moves. So this here is a left punch. Oh, snap! So this here is the all new Adobe Pro by Robo3, a company we've seen before that's also made the original Adobe a great robot, but nonetheless. Now this here is the more upgraded or the newer version you like to say. So let's go ahead and get started and open this thing up. Now the way it works is kind of simple. You got this almost like a handle right here on the top and we'll go ahead and lift up just like that. All right, and let's take this thing out. Nice. So you have this almost like foam looking briefcase, I would say. Uh, it's made out of a nice padded material. It says Adobe engraved into it, which is kind of cool. It's got this nice looking handle on top here. So you can take your Adobe wherever you like. Now the way it opens up is kind of simple. Just go ahead and open it up by pushing that up and it's literally a snap and play. So let's go ahead and take out this guy. All right. So weigh wise, not too bad. I would say it's a few pounds. Uh, on the back there, you do see a little port. Uh, that port is our battery right here. So this will go ahead and slide right in. Uh, again, this is not something you've seen in the previous model. The uh, previous model, you actually have to plug it in, which is very inconvenient to go ahead and place your robot alongside a power outlet and charge it. It's got a button right there. If you press that button, I'll just go ahead and indicate what is the battery level. In this case here, we did charge it fully, so it is 100% charged. Uh, we have ourselves a USB cable. This here is a USB-C cable, allowing you to go ahead and plug directly into the battery to charge it. Uh, as well as, of course, a USB uh, AC uh, output uh, adapter. And then over here, we have ourselves a little start guide. So it says start here. As mentioned, uh, our battery is fully charged. So I just go ahead and plug into the wall and charge it up. And then on the back here is our little port. Let's go ahead and slide that in just like, oops, not like that, like that. With a nice little click. Uh, and then from there, uh, our robot is ready. So just go ahead and hit this power button just like this. And our Adobe is ready to play. So let's go ahead and boot up the app next and see what it's all about. So this here is our menu and as you kind of rummage around, you'll see that it does have a lot of different features going on here, including a lot of different dances, actions, and stuff of that nature. Now, first we wanna do is connect to the robot by clicking on the left here and click on connect to Adobe by pressing that plus sign. It'll go ahead and detect it using Bluetooth, of course, and there we are, there's our Adobe 87 and we're connected, very simple. Now, from there, we can go ahead and click on dance, uh, speech, remote, etc. So this here is our remote control. Now, with this, you can control the robot almost like an RC car. So if I hit forward, it'll move forward. You see that it's very, very stable. Watch that, so we'll watch it again, walking forward. And compared to other robots, it's a little bit more lifelike. Uh, the other ones seem a little bit more stiff, of course. Uh, you can go ahead and have them rotate. Right, rotate to the left. You can make them move backwards. Okay, and then we have a few different things here. So this is turbo mode. So if I hit turbo, it'll move very fast forward compared to the regular speed. Well, that's kind of cool. This is shake. So his head will kind of go left and right, shaking his head. And then we have some karate moves. So this here is a left punch. Oh, snap! <laughs> that thing almost hit me. Now uh, we have a right punch. Wow, that thing is pretty fast. Uh, this here is like a victory. It's like cheer, it's like yeah! <laughs> uh, we have a left step. So we have a right step. Uh, we have a serial kick. <laughs> so that's like one of Dobie's like signature moves, I would say. All right, and this here's a left forward punch. Okay, that's like a new one. Forward right punch. Of course, splits. Yeah, I think in death battle, that one knocked out Cosmo quite well. <laughs> so that itself is all fighting moves. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and try out football or soccer next. Uh, so this here's a left kick. So you see him kicking it, so I'll try it again. Left kick. Not bad. This here's right kick. Wow, well that one went actually a lot better. <laughs> uh, uh, this here is catch. So him trying to catch it, I guess. Oh, 
So I guess if it was a goalie and like he's trying to like block it, I'm not sure. Uh, this here's a left step. This here's a right step. This here is a back kick. So, all right. So the ball's coming, coming, coming. Bam! There it goes. <laughs> oh, and bam again. There it goes. Yeah, just twice. All right. And then this here is the left tackle. So, uh, right tackle. So he's like trying to block the ball from going. And if he's a goalie, of course. And here's a split again. So, you know, you can always use that as well. Now, moving on, these here are extensions. So we have ourselves a self stable. So if I hit this button here, he's in the stable mode. So if I push him, he'll like push back. And no matter what, as hard as I push him, he'll go and deflect it, even if I hit him forward. <laughs> All right, so he gets back up. <laughs> So yeah, so he doesn't like to be pushed around. So it kind of makes weight like a little boxing thing. <laughs> this is kind of fun. So that there is self-stable. So I'll disable that for right now. All right, so we're in oblique standing mode. Now, the way this works is if I try tilting him forward, he'll kind of wobble himself back. I hit him from the front, same thing. He'll like constantly trying to stabilize himself, which is nice. So, you know, he's very, very stiff and trying to keep himself stable. So that's kind of nice. And now he's back in relaxed mode. So kind of gives you an idea of what that whole RC mode is about. It's actually kind of fun, you know, kind of allows you to control him almost like an RC car. Now we have dance, of course. So with the dances, there's a lot of different dances in here. Again, a lot of these are copyrights, so I really don't want to show them all. Uh, but just to kind of give you an idea what it can do, uh, we'll go ahead and dub some different audio over it. So this here is Gentleman by PSY. Not really. Anyways, play. Gives you an idea what that's about. Uh, definitely a lot of fun. So you have a lot of other dances. You can see that the robot has a lot of nice freestyle moves. Definitely make it very, very entertaining to see. Now we have some other like Kung Fu. So this here's like a Kung Fu move. Hmm. All right, so that there is a Kung Fu move. Uh, so you can see if you click on more, uh, it shows you all the different kind of Kung Fu moves. So like this here's like a like a side kick kind of hit thing. Look at that, that's pretty sick. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> so you can see that, you know, Adobe's got some very interesting moves. Uh, and again, with this robot here, there's actually a lot of different things that you can see. So you have yoga. Um, so these here are some yoga stances. So like, for instance, we can try like this stretch right over here. This is kind of interesting looking. So you can technically mimic him and do these yoga stretches. Look at that. Nice. Uh, so you have a few other ones here. This one just <laughs> looks kind of interesting. Let's see how that looks. All right. So, yep, that looks very, very relaxing. Good job, Doby. And then, yeah, so obviously you have that stuff as well. Uh, and then you have a few other different things. So we had, uh, we already looked at the Kung Fu, you have storytelling. So storytelling is essentially the robot tells a story and acts it out. Oh, 
身上添了一群大叶。更雷对魏王说：“大王，我不用剑就能把大雁射下来。”魏王听了，怀疑地说：“虽然你的射箭技术很高，但……” So yeah, that tells you an idea of how the story idea works. So you know the way it is, it's kind of interesting. It talks about a story and tells a story and actually shows different moves to go along with it. So that's kind of nice. Uh, so moving back on, uh, and you can always go ahead and download other things. So if I click on the online button here, you see that they have a lot of other different things that you can do. It's like these are children's songs that you can download, uh, and then you can just go ahead and find one and hit play, and then actually you know it play the animation. So it's kind of nice that it allows you to do that. Um, you have online moves, online music, knowledge, different things of that nature. So very nice robot. Definitely seems like you can do a lot of different things with it. Now these here are talk or speech mechanisms. So you can go ahead and give it a voice command. Um, again, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce some of these words, uh, but yeah, so kind of gives you an idea what that's about. Now, besides that, Doby is overall a great robot, one of my personal favorites, just because it's a lot of fun to look at and is very, very entertaining. Now, there's a lot of potential with this robot, I would say, and the good folks over at Robo3 definitely showcase this robot quite well. Now, if you wanted your very own, once again, be sure to check out the link down below in the description. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, hit that thumbs down button twice, and we'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.